really, we're going to embrace the spirit of the Lumiere. So we'll yeah, about an that. early cinema. So we kind of think of, sometimes we call this the Lumiere camera workshop. For those of you who are really new, we need to film. Um, they, just the difference between a camera and a projector is pretty minuscule. Um, here we have, you know, the light coming in through the lens and hitting the film. And a projector is like, you could think of that inverted where you have light going through the film and out through the lens. All right, I think we should just go for it. Let's go for it. They're all typified by having no cuts in static cameras, um, and they're called actualites. Um, and people loved them, and so anecdotally it was said when they would show this film, people were so wowed by photography's ability to reproduce reality that those naive Victorians would hide underneath their seats because they thought the train might break forth from the screen and run them over, because such is the power of modern photography. We're going to take our negative image and we're going to do something bizarre. We're going to pour in what is, what is you know, uh, called R9 bleach. And it's uh, di potassium dichromate, which is terrible for everything in the world, and sulfuric acid, use sulfuric acid. Um, it's dilute to, it's like maybe 15% acid solution. So it's sulfuric acid and dichromate, what it does is it eats away metallic silver. It does not eat away silver salts. So after the development stage, you're going to wash it because you don't want to mix up your chemistry, right? And then you're going to pour in um, this disgusting, poisonous orange liquid. And so uh, this toxic, horrible stuff will last you the rest of your life. You have to mix up one batch. It'll be kind of like silvery and gross, but it'll last you the rest of your life. So what you're left with is a latent image in the positive area. So right now, these are silver salts in the positive area. So you have to do what feels uncomfortable at first, is you have to take it out of the tank and expose it to light. So the positive latent image becomes ionized, and when developer touches it, it turns in to metallic silver. Um, so then we redevelop it, and you would think that you wouldn't have to fix it at this point, um, because all Fixer does is remove residual silver, chloride, salt. If you leave any of that in there, it will print out uh, and render into silver proper eventually. Right? Developer isn't necessary if you've ever done Van Dyke, Calotype, or Cyanotype. Right? You don't actually need developer. Uh, the action of sunlight will, over time, knock the chlorides off. And so when you're toning, and remember toning is swapping, um, it's swapping out metal. That's toning for stability. But you can also tone to just shift coloration. So toner always has two components, and there's two kinds of toners. There's direct toning and indirect toning. Direct toning is when you immerse it into one bath and it all happens there. That's what we're doing today. Indirect toning has two baths. It has a rehalogenating bath, and then it has a swapping out of metals bath.